Hi everyone, I'm here with the advice from Team Asteroids. We just won uh, your game from today. You just won this and now you're in quarterfinals. So such a release for you. It was a huge best of three. We're going to come back on that after. But first of all, we're going to talk about uh, the preparation for the tournament because you had a player problem. Uh, your, your new player couldn't go with you at the Majors, so you had to take Glev. And uh, how did you how did you choose him, and how did the, did the things go with ascending? So yeah, uh, obviously Kiabi couldn't be here because he played uh, the minor with Dignitas, and we had to find a fifth. We were considering Sonic because he knew our tactics, but we needed firepower because we lost uh, Kiabi. Clay was one of the only players who didn't play the minor, and he is an amazing fit for the team. We boot camped for five days. Uh, we felt really confident going into the tournament, playing with him. We won a lot of practice games. Like I've gotten really close with him. I think he's a, a good friend and a good team player. And yeah, it just like kind of sucks that we can't play with our full stand-in lineup because we have Sonic playing now. Of course, and uh, you did consider Sonic as a as a stand-up, but yesterday. You had a trouble, your whole team had a trouble, but especially Dupre, he had a serious problem. He had to go to the hospital. We heard it on Twitter uh, last night. And you had to, uh, I thought you, you freaked out. You had to find a, a five player and then suddenly came in. Well, what's, what's was in your mind yesterday? Okay, so what happened for me and Glaive, we were at the hotel room and we actually fell asleep like in the middle of the day. And when we woke up, we uh, like read in our team chat on Facebook that Dupree is at the hospital and we are like, what is going on? It took a few hours to like realize how serious it was. Um, he had to get a surgery for the appendicitis, something uh, disease which is like in the right part of the stomach. And it was so, f it's so frustrating because we didn't, pick Sonic as uh, our fifth player uh, and that means that he hasn't played CS since E-League. He hasn't been in CS other than watching our game since E-League. He hasn't shot one bullet in-game and we had to play with him for a spot at the um, top eight. Me, Civix and like Dupree as well has a history of always going to top eight and for me and Civix today it meant so much. Like it's, it's unbelievable that we managed to do it. He played so amazing. I had a few words with him yesterday to try to take off a lot of pressure from him. Because I know he is easily one of the best players in the world when he doesn't put pressure on himself. And I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of everybody. It's just amazing. Yeah, it was a tough best of three against Dinita, a Danish team. Uh, so I, I think you... you of course you want to win, win this game. But versus a Danish team versus Dinitas, isn't the victory better i don't it's hard to say right i'm re we're, we're all really close friends with them we all wanted us both to go through the group but when we played them in, in a match like this we're enemies and afterwards we're friends so of course we wanted to win it, it like it gives us some confidence when we have to fa face a team we have like faced in a lot of times and i think we got the strong like the upper hand in the in the mental part of the game I feel like we had some pressure off our shoulders because we had a stand-in and a coach. And yeah, I mean, like the win is good, but I feel so sorry for them uh, in a way because I like them as persons. Of course, but it's the it's a matter of some some have to win, some have to lose. That's that's the way of life. Uh, this best of three was really intense. Even the first map, you go to the first overtime of this competition and uh, you lost the first game. You got two standing in your team. You know you can't lose the next one. You go to Mirage, which is a kind of tactical map. And you just destroyed Dinitas on, on this map. Uh, what's, what were your feelings after Cobblestone? Okay, going into Cobblestone, we <laughs> never played that map. Never with this, like with Glaive, we have never played it. We played it, we, we played with Kiabi a lot. But we haven't had time to do a six map pool, like a six map map pool with a stand in in five days. So we knew that when we came to the best of threes, we had to prepare Cobble. But since we had so many problems yesterday, we were just like, okay, Sonic, you hold A. And we just played. We got 10 5 as CT, played our hearts out. Like, we should have won that game, in my opinion. We had a lot of chances. Config did an amazing one on four. 
like after the game it was just like the feeling of now it's our map now it's our time to show what we got we are really strong on mirage um the two lurkers me and sebix have like out of positions and we got really important kills kerrigan got a lot of opening kills and we just felt like we didn't feel like we, were, we had any pressure going to Mirage. Like It felt like a safe win even before it started. It was cash that was a little bit more shaky for us. And in the end, I feel like we managed to play somewhat tactically, even though we, we haven't like prepared cash or cobble or Mirage with Sonic. We haven't prepared anything, we just played. <laughs> but you played well and you did it. You're now in the quarterfinal. You still legend and you're still going to the next major. The, the game ended like 15 minutes ago. We saw the all your team were really emotional. We saw player crying, like especially Shipnix. We did a very impressive best of three. He was crying at, at the end. Did the uh, did the pressure go down a little bit now? Uh, right now we're just happy, right? Uh, I understand Sebex like. The way he has been performing lately has some issues. I, I told you about the pressure and stuff. It's something that had to do with anti strutting And when we had that talk, I had that talk with him yesterday. I feel like everything, I, I told him how good of a player he is if he just plays like he does in practice. And he showed today he is easily like one of the best in the world. And I'm happy to see them crying because it, it means a lot for me as well. I usually, I did it at MLG Columbus when we lost in the semifinal because that was a tough loss for me. And this is just a win that it's un undescribable for us because we get to go to the legend and status and we get to play in front of the crowd tomorrow. And a big, big crowd. Uh, I don't know if, you, if you've seen the arena, but it's very, very impressive. It's going to be very huge tomorrow. Now, uh, I'd say, what's next? What's your, your next game, you're already in quarterfinal. What's your expectation now? You've got two stand-up in your team. Whatever happens, Dupre can't go back in the game for this tournament. For this tournament. Well, what are you waiting for this tournament? Like, we're not expecting anything, uh, but in some way I feel like we can cause an upset. I don't know if the matchups are out, who we're going to face tomorrow, but uh, nevertheless, it's going to be Virtus Pro or I can't remember the other team. But it's. Um, I, have a, I have a dab. Keon? Quel team demain? Virtus Pro is going to be Virtus Pro. Yeah, okay. So it's Virtus Pro, right? They have a good. We have a good map pool against them, and if we, I had to choose one of the first team to face, it would be them. Okay, but you don't have to choose, but it'd be them. <laughs> so, okay, I'll let you celebrate the win. It was very, very impressive. Once again, we did. Uh, we have child, Fred, everything watching this game. You played very well. You did very good Counter Strike, and I hope forward to see what you can do on the main stage tomorrow. Congrats and well played.